black stuff oozing from the trunk. What's going on, guys? My name is Mark Russell with 770 Arborist and another edition of I Still Don't Have a Name for this video series. I've uh, been in the Atlanta area since 1997 taking care of trees, and today we've got an awesome example of what they, well, what you probably Googled, what's this black stuff coming out of my trees? And the answer is bacterial wet wood another name for it is slime flux it's a bacterial infection i'm going to get a quick zoom in because look at all these little ants these little guys are having a heyday look at them all watch this watch this and you can get in here you can actually smell it smells like uh like wine Okay, so what happens is this bacteria gets down inside this tree, starts fermenting, and you'll see, sometimes I got, I've got, want you to come with me, or actually I'm gonna follow you, and I got another example. This particular property was really odd because it had um, four trees with bacterial wetwood. Check it out. Here's one on a little oak tree here. Very small example. We just have a couple little ants having a party there. Because um, it is fermenting. So remember, I've actually seen, remember last summer I saw one, it had wasps all over it and they were getting a little tipsy and falling off the tree. So let me show you, and this, this one is definitely a case, that case, we gotta be careful because I don't wanna get stung. So check it out and I'm gonna tell you the treatment here in a second. But look at these guys, man, they are definitely in there. They're having a party. They're getting some, they're getting their drink on, I guess they would say, but look, there's a, there's an ant right there, and there's wasps right there, and there's some ambrosia beetles right in there with that dust. And so, and then, let me just show you one last case. Look at this. Look right there. Look at that. Four cases of bacterial wet wood on one property. Okay, so here's the treatment. There's no physical curing. That's not possible. So the only thing that you can do is you mix, and I may have this wrong, so I'm gonna put it in the description. It's either one part Clorox with eight parts water or one part Clorox with 10 parts water. You mix it up, spray it on the tree, and that's gonna kill off the external bacteria. And admittedly, it is a bit of a Band-Aid type solution because you can't fully cure it. Once the bacteria gets into the tree, starts fermenting, starts multiplying, causes pressure, it will eventually cause a big pocket of decay inside that tree. Um, but at minimum, you can spray the outside. Got something to tell you about that here in a second. And that will at least prevent the, um, the pH balance on that stuff, irritates the cambium layer of the tree, can cause bark separation, can cause further, uh, um, can stimulate rotting of the tree uh, on the outside, uh, a rotting process of the tree. And remember, Clorox loses its efficacy within about 45 minutes, i.e. once you mix it with water, it oxidizes so that it's no longer effective. So every time you spray it, and I would recommend once every two weeks, just make sure to mix a new batch every single time because otherwise you're not actually killing any bacteria. Okay, this is uh, Mark Russell signing off with 770 Arborist. Guys, if you have any questions at all about your trees, feel free to give me a call. Uh, the number again, 770 Arborist, 272-6747. Been serving the Atlanta area for an awful long time. We'd love to talk trees with you. Take care.